Fire EMS crews, Rona Fire EMS crews say they were in crisis mode during last night's storms and flooding. This is video of Salem Avenue during the storm sent in to us from Derek Millirons. Now, once the rain stopped, the waters quickly cleared, but not before prompting action from several Swift Water rescue teams. WSLS 10's Christina Craig spoke to first responders who say a lot of accidents could have been prevented. In any situation, like yesterday's flooding, first responders risk their lives to save others who are caught in the water. It comes with the territory. People in general think we're, we're unstoppable, you know, and, and the problem is, is we're human. That's a human error, is we think we can handle things that we might not necessarily be able to do. Frederick Murray, a Roanoke Fire EMS rescue technician, says yesterday Swift Water Rescue teams were in crisis mode, dealing with multiple emergency situations. During that time, Swift Water Rescue was called to six emergencies, five of of which drivers in flooded roadways needed help to get out of their cars safely. As they think, well, my vehicle can go through this waterway without any difficulty. What they don't realize is where is their intakes to their motors, it stalls them out. Potentially, if the water is moving, it only takes three to four inches of water to float an actual passenger vehicle. Today, we caught a glimpse of crews practicing confined space rescue training, which can be applied to a number of situations, including a swift water rescue like last night. Use the communications, package a victim, and bring them out. Captain Chad Riddleberger says the larger concern is not being able to help everyone with limited manpower and resources. 911 calls are prioritized by who needs immediate help first. Common sense goes a long way in, in cases like this. It's a message to not put yourself and others at risk. In Roanoke, Christina Craig, WSLS 10.